Hi, I'm Will Koberg here to walk you through the setup and installation of your new Windstream wireless modem. Remember, this modem installation walkthrough applies to Windstream internet customers only. This modem is compatible with Windows XP and Mac OS X and higher. If you have internet service with someone other than Windstream, please consult your provider for minimum PC requirements. Okay, before we get started, Unpack the box and make sure you have all the items needed for a successful installation. You should have a Windstream wireless modem, a black power adapter, a gray phone cable, a yellow Ethernet cable, and a DSL phone filter. To hook up your Windstream wireless modem, first, connect the gray telephone cable into the gray port on the back of your modem marked DSL. Connect the other end of the telephone cable into the socket of the DSL phone line filter marked DSL or ADSL. Then plug the filter into the phone socket. Plug the black power adapter into a power outlet near your computer. Then plug the opposite end of the power cord into the back of your modem marked power. Be sure to plug the power adapter into your outlet before plugging the power cord into your modem. Next, connect your computer to the wireless modem by plugging one end of the yellow Ethernet cable into the back of the modem at the yellow port labeled ETH1 and the other end of the yellow cable into the Ethernet port on your computer. If you're setting up a wireless connection, the required WEP or wireless encryption key is located on the bottom of the modem just beneath the barcodes following the word passphrase. This information is only needed if you're setting up a wireless connection. Now would be a good time to write this number down and keep it handy. You'll be prompted for this information a little later. Looking at the green face plate on the front of your modem, the lights for DSL and internet should now be solid green. If so, simply click on your internet browser and you will be automatically directed to the Windstream installation page. The process of the lights turning solid green can take several minutes. If your DSL light is off, check to make sure the gray cable is plugged into the back of the modem and into the DSL filter. If your DSL light is flashing after several minutes, verify that the gray phone line is plugged into the socket of the DSL phone line filter marked DSL or ADSL. If after repeating these steps, the DSL and internet lights are still not solid green, please give us a call so we can help you complete your installation. Once the DSL light is solid green, simply launch your browser and you'll be automatically directed to the installation screen. Select Next and you will see the customer agreement. Read through the customer agreement and check the I have read the customer agreement box, then click the Next button when you're ready to move on. Next, enter your first and last name, your phone number, and then click Next. Your modem installation is almost complete. Now just choose a username and password, or if you're an existing Windstream customer, simply verify your current password during this step. Remember, your username or your user ID is the same as your Windstream email address. For example, willkoberg09 at windstream.net. Passwords must be between six and 20 characters and are required to contain at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. Next, you'll want to click to download the Broadband Checkup Center. This is a great tool designed to help you identify and repair many computer problems that can affect your internet connection. You'll soon be able to chat and get remote assistance with technical support, repair issues preventing an internet connection, check for disk space, memory, firewalls, antivirus and system updates, or back up and restore your Internet Explorer favorites. The next step is to configure your email settings using the information on the screen. If you are using Outlook or Outlook Express, your email settings are already configured. If you are using an email client other than Outlook, use the email settings on the screen. Press pause if you need more time to enter these settings. You'll now want to configure your news settings. Again, press pause if you'd like more time to configure these settings. 
Finally, click Finish Install to complete your installation and launch a page showing you the benefits of Windstream. You can now configure your wireless devices such as laptops, gaming devices, and smartphones to access your wireless network. Because your wireless modem is encrypted for privacy, you'll be prompted to enter the passphrase you wrote down earlier to connect wirelessly. Again, the passphrase for your network can be found on the bottom of your wireless modem beneath the barcodes beside the word passphrase. If after entering the passphrase, your wireless device doesn't connect to your wireless network, make sure caps lock is off or that you've entered the passphrase correctly and try again. If you're still having problems connecting your device, consult the manual for your device or call the Windstream Broadband Customer Care Center. For help and support, just click the Broadband Checkup Center icon on your desktop. This tool will help you resolve connectivity and email issues. For technical support and billing questions, you can find answers at windstream.com or call the numbers on your screen. We hope you enjoy your high-speed internet connection with Windstream and your new wireless network. You can always upgrade your internet speed if your needs require a faster connection. Just go to windstream.com to learn more about available speeds in your area. Thanks for joining us on Windstream How-To.